right, it's let's... it's incredible to hear the impact that yoga therapy has had on your lives and um and the impact that you are also bringing to other people's lives um what is and for for those of us who are who are not as knowledgeable uh, or experienced as you are what's the difference between traditional yoga methodologies and yoga therapy is there a difference and what are the different methodologies or you know how 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 are they similar and how are they different uh, this is a great question because i get uh, asked about this often yoga therapy is more emerging field um, yoga of all kinds has is centered around healing and th it's therapeutic however when you come to a yoga class, a group yoga class, people of all mixed abilities are going to the same routine. Mm -hmm. In a yoga therapy, when you work with a yoga therapist, it can be one to one or a very small functional group that we, where a yoga therapist will assess you on five layers of human system. We say in uh, Sanskrit, Panchmaya Kosha your physical, mental, emotional, and intellect layer. And based what it shows up and based on your needs, you want to, in conversation, in a therapeutic setting with your yoga therapist, you, the uh, yoga therapist will design a practice specific to your needs. And when from the gross level to the subtle level, the yoga therapist can engage one or many tools or combination of tools, which could be asana, that's the postures in the movement, uh, pranayama, the breath practices, mudras, chants, your visualization, and some dinacharya, which we say it's daily routines, which are in sync with your circadian rhythms that will help you nourish and cleanse. And when all the arrows, they point to the same directions, from gross to the subtle levels of human, human existence, the changes are profound and very deep. 